Well, guys, looks like I may have found some perch. I've caught a couple borderline keepers, but mostly just smaller ones. They're aggressive though, which is good. I'm just gonna keep uh, drilling around here, see if I can dial in some bigger fish. Could be the makings of a good perch bait this afternoon. Right off the bat. Got him. There we go. There we go. That's getting better. That's a keeper. Woof that plastic. Using the rat tail from Liquid Willow Cat. Another one. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Oh, we're putting it together. No, oh, put it. He's he's decent. I'll put him back. Got one down there looking at it. Got him. Ooh, this is a good one, guys. This is a good one. No! God, I gotta get a bigger hook. Alright, I'm beefing things up. beef things up. I'm using my quad rod now. Bigger hook. Hoping to uh, get on some bigger fish here and this rod will be perfect for that. When searching for perch, look for them in slight depressions or slightly deeper areas of the large shallow flats with good weed growth and little to no current. Study maps, such as aerial photos of the river, on apps like Google Maps and Bing Maps to identify areas that may hold perch. Determine how you are going to access the area that you have identified as potential perch water. You may decide to walk or use some other over-the-ice transportation means. Once you reach the area you want to fish, drill a lot of holes and stay mobile. If perch are present, it won't take long for them to make an appearance. Electronics such as sonar and underwater cameras can expedite the process of determining what size and type of fish are lurking in the waters you have decided to explore. Right off the bat. Nice fish, keep him. Nice perch. Oh, it's there. You're hammering that paddle tail from Liquid Willow Cat. You're just hammering down there.
That's a nice fish. And he hammered it. Just keep moving around guys. I'll catch a few fish in a hole and then I'll go dead and then I'll move and then the next hole will be good. Just been rotating around and uh, it's three to three and a half feet of water. Seems to be kind of the, the ticket right now. I haven't seen a lot of weeds, but I think there, there's several weeds around. I see stubble sticking up over here. And as I drilled uh, going that way, it got shallower. So I'm staying on this side of that shallow water. There seems to be kind of a an area here where these perch are kind of hanging out. There we go. Oh, look at that perch. There's a beauty. It's more like it. Beautiful. Got a pile of them down there. That's a nice perch. Not quite a keeper. He wanted it. He came in aggressive. Got him to chase it all the way up. And then he hit it on the drop. That one hot on it. Oh, there we go. Whew. Vicious. Not not that big though. They're just really aggressive. Let's see if there's another one down there. I think there's more than one. There's a good one. Nice. Nice perch. Another nice perch. They're smashing it. You gotta be aggressive with the jigging today. You just gotta keep popping it and just short pauses, really short pauses. Pop it and pause, pop it and pause. And I kind of judge my pause based on the mark I'm seeing coming up to it. If it looks like they're pursuing it, I'll wait just a, just a split second longer. Yeah, it's odd. You get little flurries. You you sit down at a new hole and you get you'll get two, three fish at a crack, just boom, 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 and then and then it'll be nothing. It's like there's just little little groups of them around, and if you happen to kind of get in front of one by going to a different hole. You can catch a bunch of them. I've been having the most action by just uh, hole hopping, moving hole to hole. That's a good one, guys. There we go, nice fish. Crushed it. You can tell when there's a perch versus a bluegill because the perch will 
will chase it aggressively. They won't always hit it, but they'll chase it up and they'll go back down, chase it up. And the bluegill will just kind of ease its way in and they might follow it up and down slowly, but the perch's movements are much more deliberate. There's a perch. Oh, he pounded. Got him. Oh, nice fish. Man, he did not waste any time. That might have been the same one I missed the first time. Let's see if there's another one down there. Fish. Got him. Crushed it. Here we go. Come on. I had a great afternoon hunting down some perch. Do a little research, grab your gear, and head out on a perch mission of your own. It's a rewarding feeling when you do the work and end up on some fish. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching.